much of Marquez's music uh, reveals a uh, heavy influence of Mexican folk music. Uh, and when you uh, study his biography, it's quick to realize, uh, it's easy to realize that partly part of that comes from the fact that his father was a highly successful mariachi musician, and his grandfather was a very highly successful folk musician in Mexico. So this certainly influenced Marquez, uh, uh, especially with this music that reveals those influences. But also with this work, um, he uh, specifically cited an experience he had in a ballroom in the state of Veracruz in Mexico. So that the dance on itself is a, is a uh, dance that originated in Cuba, but it's really been embraced by the Mexican culture, and especially in the Mexican state of Veracruz. So I don't know what happened in this ballroom, um, that Marquez found himself in, but it was truly inspirational uh, to him. And there's no real uh, program or story to this music, there's no plot, if you will, but it's really easy to imagine him sitting there in that ballroom watching these local dancers and listening to this music uh, wash over him. So I encourage you to kind of consider some of those same images and thoughts as you listen to uh, Arturo Marquez's Dance All Number Two.
Yeah, 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 